Today I will be going over the Industrial and Management Engineering Curriculum Checklist. This is the four-year plan of courses that you'll be taking throughout your time here at Rensselaer. The courses that you'll take are up here and then there's some footnotes down below that we will also review today. So for today's video, we will specifically be looking into the first two years here at Rensselaer and we'll be using a editing software to be able to mark off the courses you have brought in and kind of plan as if uh, you are actually planning your first semester. So looking at the curriculum checklist here, um, again, this is a guide more than anything. These are the courses that you will take throughout your time here. However, if students come in with AP or other transfer courses, perhaps they bring in courses at a later time, or they look to take more courses one semester and less another, um, this won't be an exact 100% guide. You've also got different electives here at the bottom that you'll be choosing between for your IME curriculum. So if we look at the courses that IMEs take during their first year, first semester, this includes Chemistry 1, also Introduction to Engineering Analysis. This course is kind of like the physics of engineering. So if you don't have physics experience from high school, we actually recommend that you switch out physics and IEA. Again, this being a pretty movable template. Then you can take IEA in the spring. Next, you have Engineering Processes. So Engineering Processes is a one credit course that you're actually able to choose either this or another course within the Industrial Management Engineering Curriculum, which is ISYE 1100, Introduction to Industrial and Systems Engineering, being footnote one. As an IME, I actually recommend that you take this course instead of Processes. Intro to ISYE will give you insight into the major that you've chosen. You'll get to hear from different faculty within the department about what IMEs do, the different research on campus, the things students get involved with in terms of co-ops, internships, and other experiences, and then also get to know a bit about what IMEs do after graduation. So going back to this plan here, next you have Calculus 1. As an IME, Calculus and Math is an important subject. So here at Rensselaer you will take Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Introduction to Differential Equations, and Multivariable Calculus. So Calc 1 is that first course within the Calculus and Math trajectory here. Then you've got an IHSS course, which belongs to the Humanities, Arts, or Social Sciences, or Haas, education. At Rensselaer, you will take 20 credits worth of Haas courses, and one of them being an IHSS minimally. Going into the second semester, you'll take Computer Science, Engineering Graphics and CAD, or you can see the footnote here, there's another course that you can take, Engineering Communications. Both of these courses cover CAD. However, one of them, Engineering Communications, has CAD during the first half of the semester and then the second half is word processing software. Engineering CAD or Engineering 1200 is strictly CAD the full semester. So depending upon how much CAD you would like to take and how involved you will be with that during your time here, you can choose between either 1200 or 1400 for your course. Then you will take Calculus 2, which is the next in our math sequence. Also, Physics 1, if you did not take that the first semester. And then your next Humanities, Arts, or Social Science course. So briefly talking about the second year, you'll take a course called Introduction to Engineering Design, or IED. That has a footnote as well. So this course, you're able to substitute either with IED or Inventor Studio 1, which is something that you'll take later once you've actually um, registered for Physics as well. So Physics 2 is the next course here. You've got Introduction to Differential Equations, which is that next math, and then you've got a Humanities course. Then, during the second year, you have ENGR 2600, or Modeling and Analysis of Uncertainty. This is an important course with the IME curriculum, and it's actually a prerequisite for other courses you take later. It is the Statistics of Engineering. Next, you'll take your first ISYE course that is three or more credits, as most are here. So you've got product and operations management. Then you'll take your last math class, which is multivariable calculus and matrix algebra. And then the last two courses for your second year 
and second semester are science elective and a management elective. If we go back to this full template, science elective can be any four credit course with the following distinctions here. So you've got courses to choose between. And then a management elective can be either any of these. So you've got um, either Management 1100, Introduction to Management, which a lot of students take, especially if they want to do a management or business minor. And then there's also two Haas courses that you could take in place of this if you did not instead want to apply that to your Haas curriculum. So there's both Introductory Economics and then Introductory Psychology and similar courses within here as well. So um, let's pretend that we are planning for our first semester. So let's say that you had come in with credit for Calculus 1 and Physics 1. For this video, we'll cross these off. So in planning for which courses to take during the fall, we look at the first semester. So that would be Chem 1. Let's say that you already have Physics, as we've crossed off here. So you take Introduction to Engineering Analysis. Next is Engineering Processes, or ISYE 1100, Introduction to Industrial and Systems Engineering. That's what I would take. And then you would take an IHSS course. And then last but not least, you want to take a math course. Keep that going. So you'll take Calculus 2. So this right here would be 17 credits. We'd say 16 to 17 credits is the typical first semester for a student here. So as we look to, you know, further semesters, we'll kind of go down this checklist here and choose other courses based upon this year. So bringing it back to the full template. <clears throat> um, again, you'll use this as a guide throughout your time here. We'll work together during your first year at Rensselaer. We'll use this a lot. In fact, we'll have students who will come back and visit, you know, years later, and they've still got that same template that they've been working off of since that first year. You'll also be using this to plan for um, academics with your faculty advisor as well. So this helps you select the course that you'd like to take. And then the actual registration of courses is covered in another video within this guide. So on your registration day and time, you'll know how to create your schedule and actually register for those courses at Rensselaer. In the meantime, if you have any questions throughout the guide, my contact information is listed and I'm glad to help throughout the summer. I am here for you. Thank you.